Welcome to Reality Meeting. Every human being have a choice. You have a choice to life or to death. So you have been predestined to life. But you have a choice to die. Please subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. Oh, I, I just wish and hope that that's sunk in. Can I repeat myself? I said, you do that God has, you have been predestined. And we're going to see it towards the end of today's message. See, you have been predestined to live. You have been predestined to life. You have been predestined to live. You have been predestined to life. But you can choose to die. The Bible says that sons or children, life and death, I have presented before you. But choose life. You have a choice, but he told you what he, you ought to choose. When your teacher teaches you in class, let's use that as an example. When you're being taught biology or math or chemistry or whatever, introduction to technology or whatever else you've learned in school nursing when you go to write the exam right it's not because the teacher don't want to pass you doesn't want you to pass they are teaching you so that you can pass right but but after teaching you all those things a test will be given to you and different options will be given you have a choice to pass or fail and it's up to you if you have really been paying attention or not that's where they know you know how some people these days they say, well, we don't know how the human beings are going to make heaven. You, God has shown us how to make heaven. Is you, you were not paying attention. That's why you are still asking those kind of questions. He told you how to make heaven. And said, come, you have been predestined to make heaven. Every human being was predestined to make heaven. Every human being. But you have a choice to choose hell. You can choose anything you want. like I tell people the best way to handle other people is tell them what you think is best for them but give them the choice to choose that's the best way to handle people does that make any sense you can relate right when you see let me use a relationship you know marital union um, example when you see the man always commanding and conjuring the truth is that the lady might be afraid in front of him that's the truth but behind the lady is feeling good because that's just how life is however they want to feel good that's up to them but if you are commanding and conjuring it doesn't work that way the best way it works is Tell the person, I think that's the best one. But anyone you want to be is fine. I don't know how I used to do it. I think that one is the best one. But anyone you want to be is fine. It's not, you know. And then watch the person. This person respects you. They will put your choice into consideration. You might not always be right. So they don't. They don't have to always choose what you said is. You know. But well, at least you gave the person an idea that that's one of me I would go for if it was me. But I mean, I think they are all fine, but that one is nice. Then at least you give them an insight that, okay, let me look into this one that this guy has said, or this girl has said. And then when you look into it, then you, if you really look into it, then you might see what they saw. Or you might say, oh, okay, this is why he said so, but I don't think it's the best. I might make any sense to you. But at least everybody is living fine. So God understands that he can't bring people onto him except through that means. I mean, people that will come wholeheartedly. Not people that, you know, some people still think that Christianity is, it says, go, just go there, just be running with your head. It does not how it is. God is calling people that will use their mind to come. Thanks for watching. If you were blessed by the video you just watched, then smash the like button and hit the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. And turn on the notification bell for more exciting contents from Reality Meeting.